Now to good health. Warm weather illnesses are picking up pace. But in fact, local doctors say some patients are suffering from a virus that may seem out of season. Dr. Frank McGeorge is in the newsroom to explain. We're hearing about several cases of mono. Now doctors are seeing kids and some adults coming in with fever, throat pain, and negative strep tests, but they're coming back positive for mono. Other symptoms to watch out for, fatigue and swollen lymph nodes. Now here's what's going around where you live. In Wayne County, seasonal allergies and asthma are hitting hard everywhere. Beaumont says they're seeing a somewhat surprising number of upper respiratory infections, with some leading to several weeks of coughing. Gross Point physicians report stomach viruses, and Children's Hospital is treating a number of dog bites. The CVS Minute Clinic in Wyandotte is seeing scabies. That's a contagious skin condition caused by a small mite. Over at Oakland County, Beaumont is treating lots of strep throat and stomach viruses. CVS Minute Clinics in Wald Lake and Milford report seasonal allergies in swimmers here. And Dr. Richard Wiremiller in Rochester Hills says animal bites are going around. He's seen two cat bites and a dog bite this week. Looking at Washtenaw County, doctors at U of M are seeing those cases of mono in kids and adults, plus lots of outdoor injuries. Stomach viruses are still going around in children along with some respiratory illnesses in adults. Heading to Monroe County, ProMedica Monroe Regional says respiratory infections top the list there. Dr. Anthony Songo's office is seeing an abundance of seasonal allergies. Finally, in Macomb County, Dr. Glenn DeLong at McLaren Macomb is treating asthma flare-ups brought on by allergies and many allergy-related sinus infections. Outdoor injuries remain high. Pediatricians at Henry Ford Sterling Heights are seeing kids with stomach viruses, and the CVS Minute Clinics in Macomb report viral upper respiratory infections and some pink eye. The only good news for allergy sufferers is that tree pollen will start to drop off in the next few weeks. Unfortunately, grass pollen is here to stay for a while. Back to you.